Welcome back everyone, General Tony here, your host, coming back with a brand new COC episode and welcome my friends to some more update gameplay featuring everyone's new favourite trap, the freeze trap inside of the game. So we're about to get ourselves into our war attacks guys, check it out. We were actually just attacked by the number one player on the enemy team, Steelix, and he got a zero star, 43% damage on my base. Was it the freeze trap? That stopped his army from beating my base. We're just going to have to wait, guys, because we're about to check out the replay. And we're going to see if the freeze trap was great or whether it completely sucked. Now, because it is coming to the end of the year, I think we're going to have to have some real fun in this episode, guys. So not only are we going to be checking out the freeze trap, we're also going to be attacking the number one player on the enemy team using five Santa spells. Five Santa spells. We're going to be attacking Steelix. Then we're going to get ourselves into a second live attack taken on number two. So this episode is really about to take off, guys. It's a combo, a freeze trap and a Santa spell combo. We're going to find out which one is the best. So do me a favor. Let me know down below in that comment section. If you had to choose between the freeze trap and the Santa spell, you were only allowed to keep one in the game. Which one would it be? Comment down below, hashtag freeze trap, or comment down below, hashtag Santa surprise, guys. Which one of those two would you keep in the game and why? So let me know down below in that comment section. But for now, it's time to get ourselves into the live action. And we're going to start it off by attacking the number one player on the enemy team, Steelix. Then we're going to go ahead and check out that replay, guys, to see what the freeze trap done. Then we're going to use an insane troll army to take on number two because he's only town or nine. So this really is going to be a fun 15 minute video. Stay tuned. Let's go. So one quick announcement, guys. This is actually going to be the final giveaway of 2016. It's been an immense year. We've hit a million subscribers. And this is the final thank you before we go into January 1st, 2017. So the final giveaway, it is going to be simply four $25 gift cards. $25 gift cards times four, guys. If you want the chance to win one of those prizes, all you need to do, leave a like right now on this video just to show some support to the channel, guys. Smash that like button. Make sure you subscribe to this channel, General Tony, right now. Only subs will have the chance to win. There is a link down below. Hit the link. Hit center. You will be entered into the giveaway. The giveaway will be on the 31st, guys, so only a couple of days' time. Now, I know I said I was going to do a Q&A and a face cam. That will be coming on the 31st. That is a promise. I promise you, giveaway face cam, $100 giveaway, guys, for $25 gift cards. And we're also going to do a final 10 times $10 gift card giveaway inside of the episode. There will be 10 different codes, 5 iTunes and 5 Android, all inside of one single video. So make sure you leave a like, guys. Subscribe to the channel that will be coming up on the 31st of, of December. I was gonna say January the 31st of January So let's get ourselves into this battle. Here we go Into the actual I've heard this guy's actually insanely rushed. So let's check out his base and see what we can do. Whoa damn Okay, they are level six walls guys. So this is gonna be so fun We have four Valkyries five Santa spells loads of bowlers the heroes a rage spell Let's do this. So if I can beat this base I, I will be known as a pro player. No, I'm only joking. Okay, let, let's just, let's see if we can actually three-star it. I mean, we are using five Santa spells, so if I fail, I'm sorry, guys. But here we go. Five Santa spells against what is possibly the most rushed base I've ever seen. So, where should, what should we do with them? Should we drop them, like, randomly in the core, guys? Or, or should we do, like, all five on an Inferno Tower? Well, let's drop one on this Inferno Tower and see what happens. Here we go. What is one going to do to an Inferno Tower? So it's only a level one, maybe a level two Inferno Tower. Wow, it done barely any damage. Okay, well, let's just drop the other four there. Let's see if it's going to take out the Inferno Tower. There go the Hog Riders, aka Santa. And they're just about going to take it out. Wow, okay, that was close. So, we got 12 Wall Breakers. I don't know what's inside of the Clan Castle, but I know for sure that it definitely is not a Golem. I think it's, sorry, it's Valkyries. It's Valkyries. Okay, here we go, guys. So we want the Queen to do some damage here. There goes the wizard tower. We're going to drop in those two wall breakers. They're going to open up the wall. They're going to drop a couple of bowlers, guys. And the rest of the troops will funnel down into the center of the base. So there go every little troop into the center. There go the wall breakers as well. And there goes the barbarian king. So check it out, guys. Here we go. Rage spell is going to go down. There goes the grand warden's ability. Surely here we go. Grand warden's ability has just been popped. Damn, we could actually be in a little bit of trouble here because the uh, there is a couple of balloons. But they've been taken out. There we go. They've been taken out. So it's all cool, guys. Inside of the center of the base, there are quite a lot of big bombs going off. There goes the freeze trap. 
I don't know what it actually throws. It throws a couple of my bowlers, so that's cool. As I said, we will be checking out the freeze trap gameplay in a couple of seconds time on my base, guys, so stay tuned. Let's just drop these uh, these archers. We haven't even used our ability yet. Here we go. Archer 1, Archer 2, Archer 3. They are rolling in the base now. Our level 41 queen still alive. It's actually not been that easy, guys. You know what? If we don't three-star this base, it's going to be quite bad. So here we go. Queen's ability is being used. We need to take out the defending queen. There she goes. We need to we need to keep our queen alive. Come on, queen. Take out as many buildings as you can. Our barbarian king is still over there on the, uh, the left-hand side, guys. If we can grab this archer tower, it should be okay. There we go, Archer Tower's being grabbed. Whoa! So we're up to 86%. Barbarian. Oh my. Oh wow! What a clutch by the Queen. She's still alive. I don't even know. Oh no! I spoke too soon, guys. Here we go. Barbarian King. He's gonna come into the base now. There goes the King's ability. He's gonna take down that. What's over there? Three defenses. Three point defenses. I don't think we're gonna do this, guys. You know what? I genuinely do not think we're gonna do this. The Barbarian King's gonna go around. He's all in his own. If we only had the Barbarian King's ability left to use, it would have been done. But unfortunately, he's gonna get taken out. No, Bob. Poor little Barbarian King. And that's what happens when you use five center spells against the most rushed base. 97%, not bad, that, that, that was good. Hashtag, hashtag Tony is awesome. So here we go, obviously we know that Steelix is actually extremely rushed guys, so let's check out the army he was using in the first place. So he's got level three Valkyries, level six Wiz. Let, let's just check out the replay guys. So the freeze trap is placed there. I think it's there by the Eagle Artillery. So let's see what happened. Here we go, he's gonna attack the side, which I wanted him to attack, so that's cool. His, uh, his Earthquake spells have actually brought down the wall. So this is going to be really cool. Let's see what the Freeze Trap actually does here, guys. So Double Golem's going to go in. There go the Wizards. They're going to make a nice spread, a nice funnel, ensuring that all the heroes, everything's going to go into the base. So remember, the Freeze Trap is just ahead of the Barbarian King, the attacking Barbarian King. Here come the Valkyries. I think they're actually going to trigger it. So this is going to be awesome. There we go. So Freeze Trap has been triggered right on the eagle artillery so that is pretty cool so it does work guys obviously it works here we go valkyries making their way around the base guys and it looks like his army is just way too low level it i mean the attack strategy itself wasn't that bad actually props to him he's an extremely rushed town hall 11 and he still managed to grab 43 percent but of course once you rush the town hall 11 guys it is so damn hard to recover if it was me I would honestly probably start the game again. Maybe not start again, but it just takes so long to recover. So let's just go quad speed here because I have no idea what he's got. He's got a couple of troops. Oh, it actually came. I wouldn't say close, guys, but he got a, what did he get? 43% using the archers. So we're going to get ourselves into our second live attack using some random troll army against number two. So check it out, guys. Number two and uh, champion is actually attacking. So I'm going to two star. I'm going to three star number two. So hopefully we can get this dude down. So check out the dude's base. So he's, got, he's actually got higher level heroes than number one. So because I did fail on number one, guys, we're going to have to be a little bit more serious here. Let's try out something that I've really, you know, never tried before. Let's try... What should we do? How much How much Dark Elixir have we got? We've got 54,000 Dark Elixir. Let's try a mass amount of Witches. This is going to be cool. Okay, so we're going to bring... We're going to bring 16, then we're going to bring, no, we're going to bring, we're going to bring 15, then we're going to bring 9 wall breakers, or is that too many? Let, let, let's go with 9, yeah, that's fine. If we go into spells, guys, we're going to bring 7, should we go with 7, and 2 jump spells. So that's going to be the entire army, that's going to be everything ready. Now we just need to gem the heroes, 15 witches, 7 skeleton spells, we've got some troops inside of the actual, uh, the clan castle there. Gem the Grand Warden, Gem the Barbarian King, Gem the Archer Queen. We do have, as I said, the three healers. Should be a decent attack, guys. Let's do this. Go in for the Scout. That's what it looks like. It's going to be a very simple attack. We're going to go Jump Spell on the on the Cannon. Why have I got Wall Breakers? You know what? Let's dump the Wall Breakers. Let's just go with... No, no, no. Let's bring the Wall Breakers. Sorry. So this is how it's going to go down. Jump Spell on the Mortar. That's going to get us directly into the core. Then we're going to do a jump spell out of the core as well. So let's just check if Champion has actually three-starred. Because if he has, yes he has. That means he can attack number one. And hopefully pick up the three-star on number one. So here we go. Let's do this. Let's do this, guys. Here we go. So two jump spells. This is going to be so fun. This is going to be funny. Maybe not fun. It's going to be funny. So there goes the queen. 
There go the three healers. If I don't three-star this base, I'm going to be in so much trouble, guys. There goes the, uh, the jump spell. We're going to drop the Barbarian King over there with two witches. Then the rest of the witches are actually going to go, you know, into the center like that. There go the, uh, the wall breakers, guys. Going to be kind of random. Second jump spell. Let's just hold it back for now. There goes the, uh, the skeleton spells. We're going to pop the Grand Warden's ability shortly. Here we go. Grand Warden's ability is just being used, guys. Second jump spell we're going to throw down. You know what? Let's just throw it down there, guys, before we get in a little bit of trouble here. Rage spell is going to go down now as well. And hopefully all the troops just pour into the base. Oh, we hit the King's ability very early. I don't know if that's a good idea. Still got the Queen's ability to use, so that's okay. Here we go. Mass Witches pouring into the center. If we don't three-star this base... My butt is going to be whooped by the clan, so check it out. Loads of uh, loads of bombs going off left, right, and center. Still got plenty of witches, and the main thing is we still have the three healers alive. You know what? I think we pretty much just overrun the base, guys. The seven skeleton spells really did add a mass amount of units to the army. So check it out. The queen's actually... Why do you have to target the highest level wall? So there we go. The highest level wall has been taken down. Still got loads of witches. The Barbarian King's about to get taken out. Is he going to fall? No, he stays alive. Wow, Barbarian King clutching it there. Check out the hit points. One hit from a level one cannon, and he would have been, you know, history. So check out it. Check out the, uh, the Queen, guys. Still alive. Only one point defense left on the entire base, and it looks like it's going to be a three-star. There goes the Queen's ability. She's going to take out some of the final buildings. All connection was a little bit flustery there, and there goes the cannon, guys. And that's how you three-star in Town Hall 9. So I know people say it's hard for a Town Hall 11 to beat a Town Hall 9, but if you use the correct strategy, guys, and you do, you know, make sure you deploy the witches in the right area and use enough skeleton spells, then you're guaranteed a 3-star. So that is the end of the episode. I hope you have enjoyed it. Let me know down below, guys, the Freeze Trap or the Santa Surprise. Which one is your favorite? Stay tuned for the next video. I will see you shortly. Leave a like, sub to the channel. Peace out.